I, sorry, a little jiggly, stuff's happening. I already recorded this once and it was 38 minutes long and then I went to um, edit it in Camtasia and the audio was off for some reason. So, <sighs> come on Logitech, get your act together or Windows or whomever. I'm Jen. Hey, how are ya? It's Jen Jiggles and today is November 25th, 2019. I know that because I've already had a look over there once, so I remember. How are you? You okay? Let me straighten out my thing here. I don't know which side's off. This is my Miranda Hart vest that I made ages ago. I don't know which side is looking like. I still haven't tacked down the goddamn basic. Just a lazy bitch. Uh, yeah. No, that's the side that always hangs. Okay. We'll just get it as straight as we can. Anyway, I always wear a, a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it. And I just keep it on because my heat goes off at 9 o'clock and it's gone off. And it's getting chilly. It was supposed to go up to 9 degrees today, but instead it's going the other way down to 7. It was 8 earlier. So it's a little chilly. Anyway, I made this. It was supposed to be a long sleeve shirt thing, but I only had like a yard and a half of this material. So I turned it into a vest to just put over my stuff. And frankly, I wear it quite frequently because it is nice and toasty warm. And it's soft and squishy and I did a shit job on it, but I don't really care cause it's mine and yeah, I don't know which one looks shitty. Anyway, I will tack that down. I know I keep saying I'm going to, but I never fucking do. Anyway, I don't care. Everything's backward in my camera, which is why I keep looking over to the, my right, your left. Yes. Anyway, I don't care. Whatever. Stop fussing. It's already been a minute 49. How are you? I lost 0.4 pounds last week. I didn't lose a ton. I actually sat around with heat in my nether regions. I won't tell you why, but yeah, I was in, had a little bit of a girly problem this week. So, yeah. Uh, so I didn't do a lot of exercising. I won't lie. I did some sit-ups the first two days and then, and you know, regular leg lift things. And then I couldn't walk around because of stuff. And so that's just started to go away yesterday. Um, so not a lot of exercise. So I only lost 0.4 pounds, but I'm really feeling good about it. And also I'd like to add that I ate very healthy this weekend where on weekends I don't usually eat very healthy. I usually have a pasty at least one of the one of my lunches and I didn't. I had vegan sub and I had a big giant salad yesterday for lunch. So big. Both of us did. That um I really wasn't hungry at dinner time. We had uh we had beef and um horseradish uh pie for dinner last night, which was two hundred and seventy nine calories, so you know, I'm kind of hoping being able to move excuse me, sorry, a little bit more today, it'll be better. Uh, it is Thanksgiving week, so I guess I need to talk about that. I don't hold back on Thanksgiving. I not make an apologies for it. I make a big thanks, sorry, Thanksgiving dinner, and we eat it. What do I make? Well, I make horses duvets, which is what Ian calls uh, hors d'oeuvres. We start with stuffed mushrooms and uh, salmon uh, wrapped around cream cheese, dill, and garlic powder, which is Oh, it's so good. Um, and I usually put those on some kind of Melba toast or wheat cracker. Or sometimes Ritz because Ian really likes Ritz crackers. Um, and yeah, he enjoys that. So I do it because he loves the stuffed mushrooms. The stuffed mushrooms are stuffed with uh, Cumberland sausage, ground Cumberland sausage. Um, we have some light breadcrumbs. Um usually made out of wheat toast to give it a little bit more flavor. Uh, white bread is very bland, doesn't it? Um, and I usually put a little bit of Parmesan and parsley in and then just, you know, roast them. I do wipe uh, uh, olive oil around the outside so they sort of crisp up on the outside So because mushrooms tend to be very moist when they bake so they can get kind of damp and watery almost so I do try to dry them out before I do that um and then for mains obviously we have turkey uh stuffing mashed potato sweet potato squash uh I usually do peas but this year I am doing uh green beans I might do green bean casserole I do have some French's onion so I might actually do that Ian's never had it 
Um, I do do my sweet potatoes um, kind of like Boston Market with cinnamon and um, uh, yeah, cinnamon. I think that's it. I only put cinnamon in. Cinnamon and butter and I don't use marshmallow on my sweet potato. Um, what else? green beans, a cranberry sauce. I do a pickle tray, which is usually black olives, uh, gherkins, and some uh, dill slices. So sweet gherkins and dill slices. Um, I always do cheese, but I usually do that with dessert. So we usually have cheese with um, our pie. <clears throat> I usually make a whole cheesecake every year. Make a whole cheesecake. This year I'm doing something different. In order to cut down on uh, consumption and calories, what I am doing instead is I am, uh, first of all, I am making six mini cheesecakes in um, my uh, cupcake tin. And I'm making six mini pecan pies. I'm making regular pumpkin pie, but I'm making mini, um, mini cheesecakes and mini pecan pie. I love pecan pie, but that is the most caloric thing in the world. And I do love it. I would sit and eat an entire pecan pie all on my own. I adore pecan pie. Thanks to my mom and my granny, um, Liscom, who also made pecan pie. Um, I always make a whole cheesecake cause Ian just loves cheesecake and it's a New York cheesecake. You know, it's always from scratch. I never do like a box cheesecake thing. I'm not saying it's bad if you do that. I'm not saying that. So don't get all out of my shit. But I like to make fresh New York, che New York cheesecake. But I don't want a whole cheesecake hanging around for days after um, this meal. Because I have to watch my intake. So yeah. Um, I do, I won't lie. I do tend to have turkey after you know, like the next day, but I try not to put it on bread. Um, cause, cause I don't want it. It's too filling. Oh, that's another thing. I'm, I never make dinner rolls. I shit. I suck at bread making. I know I've said this before and I do. I suck at it, but I am going to try. I am going to try to make dinner rolls. I'll try as hard as I can. Hopefully Betty Crocker will be a help. Um, the last thing that I make, um, for a Thanksgiving dinner is 24 hour salad. Now that's in the Betty Crocker cookbook. You can look it up. Um, it's 24, the number, the numeric values, not the word. Um, you can also find it under fruit salad. So basically what it is, is, um, you make a custard with pineapple juice and egg, obviously. And then you mix that custard with whipped cream and you put that in a bowl with mandarin oranges, mandarin orange pieces. Um, I cut up, I'm, I don't follow the recipe to the letter. I do it the way my mom did it. Um, grapes, red and green, um, fruit, a can of fruit cocktail, but not a whole can, like one of the smaller cans, because I have this recipe because it's enough to feed 8 million people. And pineapple chunks. You're supposed to put bananas in, but I don't because I find that bananas start to go brown, kind of, and bleh. And then you put basically a handful of miniature marshmallows and you mix it all up. And the reason it's called 24 hour salad is because you have to make it 24 hours ahead of time and it gives it sort of a chance to, I don't want to say marinate because that's not really it, but you know, settle. And it is so good. And Ian doesn't like it on his dinner plate because he says it's a dessert. <laughs> And not a salad, but it's a fucking salad. Um, I can say that I was really, really tempted to make one of those old-fashioned carrot jello salads. But I think I'm going to save that and do that at Easter. Um, I don't have a jello mold, though. So I'm going to have to find one. But I thought, oh my god. Should I do one of those red or, you know, green jello mold things? You know, just because I, to be honest with you, I loved that when I was a kid, but. No, I was like, mm, I can't do it this year because I don't want to spend any more money because I'm trying to hurry up here because I spent so much time in the last one and Ian's with the auditors today and so I'm getting lots of emails. Um, uh, and that, that's completely unrelated, but I, before that, never mind. What I used to do was that and 
you know, he doesn't like auditors, so, you know, there's stuff. Anyway, uh, so what was I going to say? Now I lost my train of thought. Thanksgiving. Oh, so this weekend was a very busy weekend for us, although I had that girly stuff going on. Um, on Saturday, Ian and I together, which was really fun actually, um, painted the kitchen up. We still have a bit to do above cabinets in the main area of the kitchen, but the big walls are all done. And we, we did that. We let it dry. I had, previous to that, I think I'd said that we'd removed the door and had sheet rocked up the wall between the front hallway and the kitchen and... Um, I had mudded it. I did mudding and sanding three times because the sheetrock wasn't level. It's not something that Ian does on a regular basis. And frankly, I would have gone ahead and done it myself, but you know, I don't want him to think that I think that he can't do things. So, and it's good experience. How's he going to learn? Um, so I did the mudding and I got that done. And, uh, then, uh, Ian papered over it with uh, wall line paper, which is just plain, a uh, very thin, uh, plain wallpaper. And then we painted on Saturday, got all the walls done, did all the other stuff. I have to paint baseboards this week. And then we moved my American fridge from that porch area where the downstairs bathroom is into the kitchen. Finally, I'm so fucking happy I can get rid of that under the counter fridge. So Kim, I have this teeny tiny refrigerator in my kitchen that sits behind a cupboard door under my counters, which is very small. Helen will know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know if you've got one, Helen, or if you've got like a tall fridge, but I got an under the counter one in my kitchen at the moment. So everything came out of that. Everything went into the American fridge that was out on the porch. Uh, it's got two big chest freezers underneath it. Drawers, they're huge though. Like capacity is huge. Like I'm holding two turkeys in there right now. Well, one now because I put one up in the fridge to start thawing. Um, but everything got moved. So we are going to take the small fridge out of the cupboard. We're going to take the door that's on the front of that off. We're going to hinge that and I'm going to put my um, recycle bins and my um, trash bin into that so it's hidden from the rest of the kitchen which opens up more floor space because it seemed it was by my back door and it was kind of crowded there you know coming in and coming out so um, yeah. So anyway, so we got all of that done. That was a lot of work. Then I kind of rested and put heat on my girly stuff. And um, Ian, I yelled at because he's constantly doing things and um, never t sits down, takes a break or does anything. And I'm, I'm just keep checking the clock. Sorry. Um, so what was I going to say? So he's constantly doing things. So I finally yelled at him because he's, I said, I need to go to Morrison's which is a grocery store here, um, yesterday. And he's like, so he was on this big rush because we were moving the fridge in and, you know, he went to the tip, which is the recycle center, um, in the morning. And then he went to B&Q to pick up a hand cart so we could actually move the fridge. And I basically, I said, you know, what is your rush? And he goes, well, I don't want to be doing stuff all day. And then in the afternoon, all of a sudden, he's getting up to go down to the basement and do stuff. And I was like, no. One, you need to relax because you just need to have a weekend where you relax. And two, if you are going to the basement because you didn't want to get stuff, you wouldn't want to do a bunch of stuff, then you lied to me this morning. I don't like you lying to me, Bubba Gump. So he, um, he kind of laughed. He ain't go to the basement. To be honest with you, the reason he wanted to go to the basement is because he's on this big, shit, I want to really hurry up because I got some craft stuff to show you as well. Um, it's because he's on this big YouTube kick thing and he's found this guy on YouTube that basically takes newspapers and cardboard and stuff and basically turns them back into wood pulp. And then he puts them into these buckets and when the bucket that's got the wood pulp in and the water, because after you, you know, put the water in it, it's turned to mash. Um, you then put that on top of another bucket and you put another bucket on top of the mash with water in it to press the water out. And then he's made forms because what this guy did was make forms. And basically you use all the shit that comes through your front door into your mailbox or your post box, you know, all of that paper and shit that you don't ask for. And it turns it into like, uh, 
uh, wood bricks for your fireplace or your, you know, your outdoor fireplace or whatever. So he's on this big kick and I think that's really why he wanted to go to the basement. But it's a good thing he went to the basement in the end, later on in the day, because we have humidifiers going down in the basement 24-7 and they're not hooked into the drain yet. Because to be honest with you, we haven't, haven't quite figured out how we're going to do that. And I think we really should get a plumber in for that or get a system put in. Um, but he didn't push one of the bins in at the bottom tight enough in the area that we've just gotten to the point where we got rid of all the black mold out of it. And, you know, it's dry as a popcorn fart. And the water started draining on the floor and all I'm making dinner and all of a sudden I hear Jen we've got a problem there's a problem Jen there's a problem him shouting from the basement I thought holy shit he's fallen he's hurt himself you know he's had a coronary he's having a coronary you know because I'm stupid and spastic and everything that's bad comes into my head all at once and I get down there and he's like I don't think I pushed that in and there's water all over the floor and I was like shit because our luggage sits on that floor now there wasn't a ton of water so we put newspapers down and stuff on the floor and then he said, you know what, I'm going to put the dehumidifier into one of these bins and turn it back on in case, you know, it's broken or something and it's leaking. But then he figured out he hadn't pushed it all the way in and that's why the water was draining onto the floor. So no harm, no foul. It's all sorted out. But yeah, so anyways, that was that. Um, I did get a little bit of knitting done, but that was mostly on Friday afternoon. And I didn't knit for the rest of the weekend because we were doing all of the shit that we were doing. Um, did I already say, because I, I, when I have to do this twice, I forget. So I'll say it again, just in case I haven't said it. I ate very healthy over the weekend, which I don't normally do. And, oh God, I feel bad if I've already said this. Jesus. Right. So I had a vegan sub on Saturday for lunch. And then yesterday I made giant salads for lunch. And I was so full. I was so full. But if I've already said that, I'm really sorry. I don't know. I don't know what I speak of. of. But yeah, so that's that. Um, I've got some things to show, as you can see behind me. That is on the go. Um, but let's get with the crafty stuff that you guys get to see before the people on the 11th get to see. Because I really don't want this to go very long. Give me one second. I have to pause this, and I will be right back. Hi. I stopped the video so I have to start a new video which means I have to do editing and connect the two videos so I'm really really sorry anyway craft time so um, my lovely friend Helen I got this bag from her she's Sprite 966 on the interwebs every freaking where you go focus you cheeky git There she is, Sprint 966. Helen, lovely bag. Love it. You do. Noel, Noel. Says ho, ho, ho in the inside. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, Helen sent me this lovely wool called Hell House. Look at it. Now, I just want to say very, very quickly that I do not knit anything after Halloween that's Halloween-ish um, until January 1st. But I love this wool. And I didn't want to stop. So I kept right on and going. So I have finished the whole foot. I have turned the heel. So it's all crumbled up. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, it's all crumbled up. But there's the heel. Um, that is like this mint green wool that I pulled out of my miter. I have no idea who made it. Um, but it doesn't look mint green here. But it is mint green. That looks very yellow. And it is not that yellow. It is a darker green than what you're seeing. Um, I started up the leg. This is um, 30 stitches on each needle, so 60 in the round. This is five by one rib. And this is the nice little um, progress keeper that Helen gave me that is a, just stay still for one second. That is a thistle. There we go. Pretty, pretty. Anyway, I think I can get this done before Thursday because I have so much baking to do. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time downstairs and not in my sewing room, which means the time I do spend in my sewing room needs to be, like, very productive. And, yeah. So, socks coming along. Thank you, Helen Duffin. You are a doll. You are a doll. Let me just want to get that back up. Okay. The sweater. The sweater. 
and sweater. So I have finished the separation row between the main body and the shoulder area and trying not to drop stitches. It looks like moss stitch, but it's actually like this drop stitch pattern. So uh, this right here is like drop stitching. So basically you drop stitch with the yarn in front and then you knit across it the next one it kind of creates that little loop that you see there yeah it looks like a giant pearl side but it's not and obviously i've started up the to the shoulder bit so that's a knit for pearl four then i am fairly certain and feel very confident that i will get to sewing this up um shortly after Thanksgiving I have got to knit on that not that your wool is not important Helen but this is a Christmas gift so it's got to be done also Helen just so you know um, I went to Ellie uh, Ellie from Craft House Magic I went to her website and I ordered some of that jingle bells that she has so that's gonna arrive so I will let you know how that is right um so I'm trying to hurry up because we got three minutes and 40 seconds on this already. Um, I finished putting all the pockets and all the quilting on the advent calendar so all the pockets are on now. Pockets? Pockets? Where's the other pockets? Where's the pockets in the middle here? There we are. There's a pocket. I also did some stitching around the post box to make that more prominent so it kind of gives it a little bit of a a poofy definition -y thing going on. My pockets look terrible. I've ordered another advent calendar. But yeah, so I put that fabric on from last week that I showed you. That was the um, guy that's killing my camera in it. The uh, peppermint candies. And I have started the binding I've sewn on the front. And now I'm starting to lose a clip. I'm just clipping it around to the back side so I can hand sew that on but yeah um to be honest i messed up and at the very top you can still see the writing so i've got some ribbon that i'm going to put across there it was actually the ribbon that i was going to use to um make the three loops to hang it on the dowel so we can hang it up so yeah so i'm going to put some of that at the top and at the bottom and hopefully that'll look okay and i won't make that mistake again um, to be honest, too, I'd like to say that I wish I had make, made my binding wider. So basically, it was two inches wide before it got folded over. And I think, to be honest with you, I would have gone with three inches because I like my binding to be wider than that. So on the next one, I'm going to do a wider binding. So that's that for that. Um, I'm trying to see... I don't need to start another blanket, but I saw this and now I want to start it. And I know that that is not uh, the color photo and the color photo is freaking amazing. But I don't know why I did that. I don't need to start another blanket. I have two blankets on the go. By the way, I didn't bring my cross stitch blanket up, or my crochet blanket out because I only got about a round and a half done on it this week. And um, yeah, so not a lot, not a lot done on that. Uh, yeah, so one thing I did want to say, and I will insert pictures here, is that I have decided that I am going to copy Ellie from Craft House Magic a bit because I can't keep up with Helen Duffin because I don't knit like I'm a knitting machine like you do, and I am not as proficient a knitter, obviously, because I can't knit like a knitting machine like you do, Helen, because you're amazing. And Kim's probably laughing at my quilts. I'm sure you're laughing at my quilt, Kim. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's not quilt. Well, uh, my calendar, my binding. Because you're so fucking good and your quilts are always so fucking good and mine are shitty. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. What I can do is sew um, clothes. I am quite good at sewing clothes. So what I've decided to do, like I said, is copy Ellie. And um, Ian got me... Uh, a dress dummy which will be here I'm going to show you over here in a minute the fabric that I got so I 
you know, I always want to make all this crazy shit, right? But I never make it because I think that's not dignified and no, 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 no. Then I went, fuck it. I want to make crazy shit and I want to show it on my podcast and I want to be wearing it on my podcast and I want everybody else to feel comfortable whether they're fat, skinny, medium, whatever, short, tall, green, purple. That it's really cool to wear crazy shit. So I decided I wanted another baseball t-shirt. And, but I wanted it sparkly for the Christmas season. So I'm going to slide over here. And here I'm going to put the picture first of the sequin. It's called Seaside. Yeah. This is called Seaside. And it's sequin fabric. And that is going to be for the body of the baseball t-shirt. And then this is called Anaconda. And it's hologram. It's hologram fabric very amazing hologram fabric and I am going to make the sleeves out of that and it is crazy I know it's crazy right but I want to be that person that people watch and go holy fucking hell did you really do that you know are you really wearing that oh my god you know I want to be that person that says yeah okay it's okay doesn't matter use cool shit to make cool shit right so anyways, so I haven't named my dummy yet because I haven't opened her because it's a Christmas present. And I know that Ellie's name is Barbara. The only thing that I can think of is basically, oh, my iPad's bust for sure, Kim. So that's why you've not gotten a response on Instagram because I can't remember my fucking password. And I don't use password keepers because I don't trust them. So Instagram keeps telling me online that I have to change my password another way. And the only way to change it or do anything to it is to get the new iPad here soon and which it will be soon and plug it in and update it with my Apple iTunes thing on my computer. Anyway, so I will respond to you. I know there's other people who have sent me messages and I haven't responded to them either. So Helen, I think the other Helen I haven't responded to, I think she sent me a message, but I can't respond to her because I can't get on my Instagram. And no, it's not on my phone because I don't have the same things on my phone that I have on my iPad. Anyway, where was I going with this? Oh, yes. So, on my mail, on my iPad, um, I had to give myself a name, an extra name on my iPad. And they basically said, what would you like me to call you? So, when I talk to Siri, she says, you know, da 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 If I say good morning to Siri... She says, good morning, Princess Penelope, <laughs> because that's what I call myself. So whenever Ian gets an email at work, it says Princess Penelope at the top of it. So I might name her Princess Penelope. I am not sure. But I was going to call her E2, like Elizabeth II, but I thought if I put our queen's face on my mannequin, I might get in trouble. I don't know if somebody from... You know, the Queen's staff might send me an email and say, what are you doing? Sorry, don't ever do that. I don't know. Her face is all over t-shirts and stuff, but mine would be very respectful and not a joke at all because I love her. I think she's amazing. She's clever. She's so bright. Her family right now is, well, a certain member of her family is causing her a lot of grief and she's not a young lady. Shame on him. Anyway. I might name her. I don't know. It's probably going to be something weird because I'm not as cool as Ellie at all. So it's not going to be Barbara. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's what's going to happen. Anyway, I need to go because now I've been yammering on for 11 minutes. But anyway, so be looking for that on the Craft House Magic Podcast. But you guys will always get like a, a heads up on shit that I'm making here first. But we won't tell anybody because this is just for us. Anyway, all right, I'm going to go. I hope you're okay. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving weekend. Um, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, uh, Helen, I don't know what the fuck. Diwali's done, so <laughs> I don't know what anybody celebrates. Just celebrate whatever. Or if you don't have anything to celebrate, make some shit up. Seriously, sisters, make it up. Anyway, Kim, happy Thanksgiving to you and Tony and your family. And hope you don't have to make any packed lunches this year. Um, or anybody is told to bring a bag lunch this year. That was so freaking funny. Anyway, right, I'm going to go before I say something that gets Kim in trouble. 
I love you guys. Um, I will talk to you next Monday, and hopefully I'll have some more weight loss to report. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you later. Bye.